mass except the Pope himself. The monks here were to be the Pope's own men. The Emperor, Charlemagne, had dreamt of controlling Europe through a network of monasteries. Instead, it was the Pope who achieved it. Many monasteries like Lerins were under his direct control. And all the clergy, through the feudal hierarchy of the medieval church, looked ultimately to Rome. The feudal pyramid was now firmly established. At its top, Pope and Emperor side by side. The Pope in this church painting that crucial inch or two higher. The Emperor with his barons. The Pope with his clergy. Just as the castle sits side by side with the Abbey Church in medieval Durham. This strong frontier town in the north of England is not far from the old Roman defence against the barbarians, Hadrian's Wall. In the Abbey Church, which was also Durham's cathedral, the Normans provided a magnificent resting place for two saints whose mortal remains had been grievously disturbed by the Normans' ancestors, the Vikings. The Venerable Bede lies here. and St Cuthbert. After the Vikings had burnt the monastery where Cuthbert was first buried, monks wandered for two centuries with his precious bones. Eventually, the monks settled in Durham. So, the descendants of the Vikings enshrined the saint in a church which is one of the great glories of Norman architecture. The rounded arches, which the English call Norman, are part of the wider tradition known in Europe as Romanesque, deriving from Roman culture. The last wave of barbarians had finally settled down under the wing of the Christian church and within the traditions of the Roman Empire. Here, within church and cloister, the monks sang, read, taught, and wrote. From monastery to monastery, a vast stream of documents was now perpetually on the move through Europe, above all to and from Rome. Some were trivial. How many cows could a monastery keep? Some were routine, clerical appointments being confirmed at headquarters. And some were on matters of high policy, how to control the local king or baron how to make sure that the church really towered above the castle. An old prophecy said Rome would stand as long as the Tiber flowed. Well, by now, the flow of the Tiber was exceeded easily by the flow of the documents. But the remarkable fact was that the descendants of Celts and Goths and Franks and Vikings were writing in one language, Latin, to one place, Rome. The language had been that of the old Roman Empire. The city had been its capital. The barbarians and Rome, through the medium of Christianity, had come to a fruitful compromise. And Rome had a new kind of empire.
in the next episode of The Christians, a student pilgrimage to Chartres. It looks very different from a pilgrimage in the Middle Ages. The fear of hell and of God's wrath may no longer be the motive for these pilgrims, but over the centuries, the enjoyment of the outing must have been very much the same.